Hello everyone. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. Still me, Dr. Nnobia Agatha Chizoba. We continue in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mighty God, the author of knowledge, we continually implore your mercy and pray for a greater mathematical experience in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're welcome. Remember, if this is your first time of being here, consider subscribing to my channel. All right. In this lesson, we are going to see how to construct equations of tangent and normals of a curve at a given point. Okay? Now, what is tangent? What is tangent? It might interest you to know that the word tangent is a Latin word, which means touching. Suppose that this is the graph of the function. Now, let us take a particular point of this curve. Let's take this point now, a particular point of the curve. So, let's denote it by P. Okay? The coordinate of P is S naught comma Y naught, where Y naught is equal to F of X naught, okay? Y naught is equal to F of X naught. All right. A tangent at this particular point is a line, is a straight line that will touch this curve at this point. Now, this is a tangent. It's a line that touched the curve at a particular point, P. All right? Now, the equation of this is y minus y naught equal to dy dx times x minus x naught. Okay? Where dy dx is the slope at that particular point. When we talk of the normal, we mean the line that is perpendicular to the tangent. The normal at this point is the line that is perpendicular to the tangent at this point. Okay? That is, it forms the angle of 90 degrees with the tangent. Since the normal is perpendicular to the tangent, we have that the equation to the normal is given by this. All right. If we use m sub t and m sub n to denote the slope of the tangent and normal of a curve at a particular point, respectively, we will have that. The products we give us are minus one. What we're going to do now is to construct equations of various tangents or normals of different curves at different points. Okay? So let us uh, solve some problems. Find the equation of the tangent to this curve at this point, 3 comma 9. You can decide to go extra mile of determining whether the question is well defined, okay? That's by checking if the point given is actually on the curve. Because if the point is outside the curve, it will be a, a, a meaningless asking us to find the tangent to this uh, particular curve at this point if they don't have relationship, okay? But looking at this now, when x is 3, if x is 3 here, what is y? It is 9. So, actually, this point is on this curve, is, is on this curve, okay? So, we can continue now, we can continue in finding the equation of a tangent to this curve at this point. The equation of the tangent so this curve at this point is given by 
first of all, get the slope at this point. The y dx is equal to 2x. Evaluated at the point 3, 4, it is equal to 6, 2 times 3, okay? x is equal to 3. So 2 times 3, you have 6. All right. So you have that the equation will be equal to y minus y naught is 9 equal to 6 into x minus x naught is 3. So we have y minus 9 is equal to 6 times x is 6x. 6 times minus 3 is minus 18. All right? This implies, it implies that y is equal to 6x minus 9. Okay? Now, suppose we want to get the equation of the normal to this curve at this particular point. What will it be? Remember, we have that 6 is the slope of the tangent at this point. So the slope of that normal will be what? Minus one over six. So the equation of the normal will be y minus nine is equal to minus one over six into x minus three. This will give us all right. So we have fifty one. Six Y plus X equal to fifty one. As minus forty eight. If you add forty eight here, you add forty eight here, and you have three plus forty eight. That is fifty one. So you have that. All right. Suppose we want to find the equation of the tangent to this curve at this particular point. One, we observe that actually the question is well defined since two comma two is a point on this curve. So the question is well defined. We continue. Let's find the tangent. We first of all get our dy dx. What is dy dx? Remember this is implicit. So we have that 2y two 2y two dy dx is equal to 2x. This implies that dy dx is equal to dy dx is equal to x over y. So let's evaluate dy dx at 2 comma 2. So the y dx is equal to 1. Therefore, the equation of the tangent of this curve at this point is given by this implies that y equal to x is the equation of the tangent. Okay? This is for the tangent. What about the normal? What will it be? The slope here is 1, so that of the normal will be minus 1. All right? So that we have that the equation of the normal will be what? y minus 2 which is a Okay, suppose you are given this curve here. Suppose you are given this curve and you're asked to find the equation of the tangent and the normal to this curve. 
at this point. Okay? What do we do? Well, first of all, get this loop. The y dx. What is the y dx? Okay? Remember your implicit differentiation. Now, this is product. We have this as a x dy dx plus y dx dx, okay, which is 1, plus 2 plus 4 dy dx is equal to 0. x dy dx plus y plus 2 plus 4 dy dx equal to 0. So what's dy dx? Collecting like terms together, we have that so that the y dx is equal to minus 2 minus y over x plus 4. All right, so let's now evaluate this at this point. Evaluated at this point, 1 comma 2, we have that this is equal to minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 is equal to minus 4 all over we have 1 here 1 plus 4 is 5 all right so the equation of the tangent at that point is given by so we have that the equation is given by y minus 2 equal to minus 4 over 5 into s minus 1, which, when simplified, you have five y minus 10 equal to minus 4x minus 4. Okay? Continuing... All right, so that's the equation of the tangent. Now, what about the normal? Remember, it is equal to that's for the normal. Let's look at another problem. Suppose you are given this curve and you're asked to find the equation of the tangent and normal to this curve at this point, all right? Looking at those equation is implicit. So you are going to use your implicit uh, rule of differentiation. So differentiate both sides with respect to x and you have plus two y dy dx is equal to 3 into, keep this constant, differentiate this, this product y dx dx, okay? So you have So 
dy dx is equal to 3y minus 6x squared over 2y minus 3x. All right, so we now evaluate dy dx at uh, 1, 2. So we evaluate this at 1, 2. Evaluate this at 1, 2. We evaluate this at this point, and we have, remember, x is a 1, y is 2. So doing that, we have, a, here is, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. 2 times 2 is uh, 4 minus 3. That's 1. So you have 0. So you have 0. All right? So the question of the tangent becomes... y minus 2 equal to 0, okay? Remember your equation. So you have y minus y naught, which is 2, is equal to 0. And we have that uh, y is equal to 2. So y equal to 2 is the tangent. Since the slope is equal to 0, what it implies is that uh, the tangent is... Uh, uh, it is parallel to the x-axis. A line that is parallel to x-axis is of this form, okay? This one says, find the points, find the points on this curve where the tangent is horizontal. So, you need to know what makes the tangent horizontal. The tangent is horizontal if the gradient is equal to zero. If the slope is equal to zero. If the slope is equal to zero, it is horizontal. So it's parallel to x-axis, okay? So what we are going to do here now is to differentiate with respect to x, find your dy dx and equate it to zero. Then find those points that makes it possible. So we do this. Equate it to zero because that is where equate it to zero because that is where the tangent is horizontal. Okay, so let us now find those things that makes it uh, work. All right, so we have all right four x into x squared minus three equal to zero. So this implies that uh, either 4x is equal to 0 or x squared minus 3 is equal to 0. If 4x is equal to 0, we have four x equal to 0 implies that x is equal to 0 since 4 cannot be equal to 0. Or, or, x minus 3 equal to 0 implies that x is equal to square root of 3. x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3. So we have x equal to 0, x equal to plus or 3, and x equal to minus or 3. These are the possible points, okay? For these points now, let's get the corresponding y. So for x equal to 0, we have 0, 0, plus 4. So y is 4. 
So this is one of the points. 0, 4 is one of the points. Now, we look for the other point where x is a uh, sort of 3. If x is sort of 3, what is y? Okay? Now, remember, y is equal to so 3 raised to the power 4 minus Okay, so 3 raised to the power 4, which is 9, minus 6 times 3, 18, plus 4. They have 9 minus 18, that's minus 9 plus 4. That will give you minus uh, 5. So that gives you minus 5. You have y equal to minus 5. Okay, so you have... Minus 5 here. All right. X equal to minus 3. You have Y equal to minus 3 raised to the power 4 is 9. Okay. 9 minus, this is even power. So you have this. This is a 3. 6 times 3, 18. So you have 9 minus 18 plus 4, which is still minus 5. So for x equal to minus or 3, you still have minus 5. So these are the points. 1, 2, 3. These are the three points where the tangent of this particular curve will be horizontal. That is where the slope is equal to zero. All right. I believe we can now find the equation of tangent or normal to any curve given to you at any point. Okay? You can now find the equation of a tangent or equation of a normal to any curve given at any particular point. All right. And we thank God for his mercy. And we pray that he will continue to lead us through. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. And remain blessed.